Hello. I start uh, speaking and Im immediately the the cars uh, start with the, their louder engines and louder than I what I want. Anyway, I don't want to start this over again. I have started a couple of times and in the end uh, it will be the best I can do. Uh, I cannot uh, offer anything beyond that. So any technical glitches, uh, I hope you will be able to to do uh, bear with them. Anyway, uh, hi, I'm very happy. I'm very happy uh, to finally be here with you. I am sorry this is uh, starting as a pre-recorded uh, uh, talk. I, I would like to deliver the whole talk uh, like uh, at least in, uh, in real time as it should be. But uh, we have had so, so many uh, problems finding the right time uh, to, to uh, where I can give this talk and it's the, uh, the meeting time for you. Well, that we decided the best thing is to pre-record it and I will do my best to be available for question and answers uh, at the end of the talk. Uh, and of course, I will give you my contact data in, in case you are interested in, in talking with me, uh, with me about anything uh, related to this uh, project or any other thing. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm mostly thankful to uh, Evil Weasel. They, w they have been very attentive to me and they have uh, insisted on me speaking to them, to, to you as a Chicago Python user group. And uh, that's a honor to me. I cannot say I am an expert Python user by far. I can manage my way uh, out of a shoebox or something like that. Uh, but, well, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I think I have a couple of things that may be interesting to share. And that's what I uh, will try to do today. Uh, let me give you first a, a bit of background information as to why am I, uh, I am writing, when I, why am I presenting this project. Uh, I work at a national university in Mexico, UNAM, and uh, well, I have two, uh, two roles there. One is uh, the technical staff. I am the system administrator for our research institutes network. That's uh, like the, the uh, my main uh, job, although it's the least challenging uh, uh, in a way. And I am also a teacher at the engineering faculty. I teach operating systems. And well, I try to get, them, uh, get my students to become programmers. And uh, well, that's not a very easy task. So uh, most of my assignments are write a program that implements this thing that's also done in op operating systems. Many things are just, uh, well, uh, simulated, not even, uh, <laughs> not, not much more than that, like say, uh, uh, write something that uh, gives the user memory when they request a memory allocation and they uh, have, uh, have it back or things like that that are quite easy to get. In the end, an operating system is a collection of clever but simple uh, 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 tasks. But, uh, and, and well, uh, I have done also some that are a bit less simple. For example, I have uh, for several years already uh, asked my students as one of the, uh, the main uh, uh, projects to, to write something that could be seen as a file system driver for a completely made up file system that's unoptimal but easy, easy to understand. So I give them, well, what's the structure of a of the directory of my UNAM FS, where you, uh, of the name of the university, FI UNAM FS, Facultad de Ingeniería, Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México, file system. And it's a file system that I change the spe specifications for uh, every semester. So uh, one, uh, one semester it will be with uh, clusters of uh, two sectors, one semester will be clusters of, of uh, four sectors, whatever I can come up with. Uh, and one of the things I want them uh, to learn as a, as a consequence of uh, being uh, uh, developers, of being programmers, is that the interface, the user interface is also important. I am not saying that I, am a, that I write beautiful user interfaces. No, I, when I write something, I'm usually more centered in the back end and I try to make nice APIs, but uh, I'm just a human but well, happens that I am a teacher. So uh, what I have uh, told them is, well, you can 
uh, write the the typical uh, like a, a prompt based a menu based uh, program that they, they always write but would you want to you to do that so i gave them some extra points for better user interfaces and for several years i have uh, suggested them to implement a, a fuse based file system i will get to that very soon a fuse based file system in my opinion would be the best uh, possible interface for a uh, for a this synth uh, synthetic file system I'm giving uh, giving to them as a, an assignment. So I often get, uh, say, a graphical inter user interface things, but I have never so far in more or less, well, two semesters a year and maybe five or seven years I've uh, given this assignment, I haven't had a single Fused-based uh, project uh, yet. So I want to make uh, the, uh, this semester I'm trying to make a change in that. Uh, what is this thing I, I, I wrote here, Fuse? Fuse comes from file systems in user space. Uh, it's a great uh, uh, kernel module. It's even been ported to other operating systems. I understand that there's uh, something very similar to, to Fuse that can be used well, on the BSDs and, and, and uh, in Mac OS, I don't uh, really know because I don't use them. Uh, but the thing is, I can code uh, the logic for a file system in a high level language like Python, and uh, it will be presented as if it were handled by the kernel. Uh, of course, what happens down, uh, down there is that the, the kernel has uh, an, an open API and the kernel interfaces with uh, libfuse that's in C, and there are bindings for libfuse uh, uh, where you can specify the different system calls to, uh, to Python or to many other high-level languages. And it, it's fun, it's not particularly hard to write. I have found, well, it's far from trivial, but um, uh, I want to share this uh, project with you and uh, get feedback uh, from it. So. If you're interested in this uh, uh, project, you can uh, fetch it now from uh, my my directory in GitLab, uh, gitlab.com uh, 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 slash Gunnar Wolf slash Fuse in Python guide. So let me emphasize, on the, the, I want to make this a hand-holding guide. I found several uh, uh, Python tutorials uh, showing how to how to do uh, this but they, they're usually written in a quite terse style i'm trying to ca uh, cater for non-programmers non-programmers that i want to turn into programmers so what i'm attempting here doing is to uh, well in order to say it's hand-holding is to start from a very simple example and add features to it along the way so I start by just writing an empty file system, then a read-only file system, then a read-write file system, then uh, I'm going to using stat for uh, uh, managing file attributes, then a read-only pass-through, and maybe I will keep adding some steps to this. Uh, so well, here it's a bit uh, more like uh, explain more more specified. Uh, you will find in most uh, uh, Fuse implementations in the different languages uh, several very, sim uh, very similar to each other, several examples in, in the uh, relevant directories. Say, for example, in Python we have, well, I'm uh, running, of course, in Debian. Uh, there are many modules I am using. Uh, a fuse that's closer to what we have in, in, in the upstream API. And here we have oh. yep, we have a hello file system, a, a coops, FIOC, I don't remember what this was, and XMP. These are not very easy to work with, except for hello that I, I used as a as a a starting point. Yep, th this one is quite easy. You can see it's very sh uh, short. 
And what does a hello do? Hello file system creates, uh, uh, okay, uh, how does uh, views look like? Here I am calling it, uh, uh, I, I just give it a, as its only argument, the mount point, where it will be mounted. So this, as you can see, it's a directory I just created. Here I run the program, I get no output, but when I look at a TMP MNT, I have a hello file. That's it. So, uh, what I want to teach the students uh, here is uh, what is needed to get this done. So, uh, I start, uh, well, this is the example, this is not part of my code, but here you can see all of the uh, each of these uh, 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 methods that's uh, uh, defined inside the hello file system uh, class that inherits from Fuse uh, is a system call. Get attributes for a given file, read directory, open a file, and read the contents of a file. Yeah. And well, this serves an, as an example, but it's not very good for hand holding. I think it was in in Ruby we had more um, I don't have it installed here. No. Never mind. Uh, in, in some languages we have more and maybe even better uh, documentation accompanying uh, uh, the, the modules. So um, so le le let's start looking at what I am um, doing here. Oops. And this way you can have the joy of looking, uh, looking at me as I explain. Yay! Okay, uh, so these are my uh, These are my five uh, uh, basic uh, files. Uh, I am trying to, kick, uh, to take care. I, I, I don't uh, know if I am really uh, achieving it, but I am tr trying to take care of uh, following uh, good, uh, 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 good practices and uh, uh, documenting things uh, over a, a little bit over the top. Uh, I mean, documenting things so that uh, students that know the basics of the language but are not used to developing anything beyond homework assignments can, can see how are you, uh, we are supposed to work when uh, targeting larger projects, when targeting uh, contributions to free software. So here you can see, for example, well, uh, I, I have a, a uh, written doc strings explaining well uh, what I'm doing. This is what I was uh, just explaining. Here, uh, let me start with the first one. Yeah. So here, what is this? This is an empty file system. I'll take this as a very, very, very first fr first example. Uh, my my basic uh, file system is a file system that can be mounted, and is empty. How can I? do this in, uh, in, in Fuse? Well, in order to represent an empty file system, I have to uh, deliver uh, the uh, dot and dot dot directory entries because otherwise it is not valid and uh, my, my operating system will complain. Well, uh, the, the programs I use to interacting. Uh, so for doing that, I need to implement only these two uh, uh, system calls. And they are very simple. Read there. Well, I don't care about the argument so far. Uh, read there will will only uh, present two directory entries, uh, one for dot and one for dot dot. And that's it. Of 
course, uh, I haven't got into details on what yield really means, how it is used, but but this is uh, something that uh, uh, belongs to the uh, to the uh, Fuse API, not to uh, not to this level of code. We only know we have to do this instead of returning the full list. We have to yield w each one of them uh, uh, point by point, uh, moment by moment. And here, if I don't uh, give the attributes, it, it will look very ugly because the file system has no way of knowing uh, the the the, uh, the attributes. Uh, it, it it will be shown us. So uh, what I say here is, as I am only handing back uh, directories, yeah, uh, in order to enter and read a directory, I have to use at least. Well, I I could use zero octal. 500 and uh, make this available to only uh, the, the root uh, user or, or whatever. But I am choosing to give this that's uh, read and execute to every possible user. Uh, and I am leaving all the details untouched. So uh, uh, we will now see uh, the, the result of this. Um, oh, well, yes, this is something that took me a bit of time to really process, to, to understand how it works, because the, the documentation for Fuse is not very uh, uh, clearly laid out. Uh, even though in the, in the uh, read dir uh, file system, we give uh, the file names rooted at, uh, uh, at this uh, point uh, inside, uh, inside the file system, here we will get uh, uh, the name of the directory, which makes sense after a bit, and I will explain this a bit later. So, how does this work? Okay, I'm here. Uh, here I am providing a bit of help. So, let's see how MNT is empty, and if I run empty file system, well, I get the full help, which is a bit over what I want. Of course, this full help is uh, given because I'm giving the fuse options. Maybe I should uh, remove them. Uh, I'm, I'm then taking this from uh, this usage, and I could make this uh, much terser. But uh, here wh what I have is empty file system, mount point, and options, if any. For example, here, without uh, me in, uh, getting involved in this, I could say, oh, and make the files uh, from uh, for this and this uh, user and group ID. Okay, so let's uh, run it, specifying MNT. That's it, it's running. And if we look at the cons contents of uh, MNT, I can see here uh, the, the difference. Uh, of course, my, my operating system is uh, resolving this correctly because Point, uh, dot dot points at uh, the, the 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 part directory, which is a real uh, in the real file system. But uh, dot, which I've just created, is owned by root. It was created at the beginning of the Unix epoch, mm -hmm. and it's in the directory mode I made available. Okay. Uh, here, this shows that, uh, well, uh, I will get into this a bit uh, later. This shows it works. It doesn't show much more, but on the other side, it's not very fun to run an empty file system, right? So my second uh, step is read-only. And this one, uh, well, in fact, uh, I. I am reproducing this header everywhere because I started from uh, the hello uh, file that, that was written almost 20 years ago and is still uh, distributed as part of the, uh, 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 of the Python uh, modules uh, examples. Well, uh, from here I started doing my own. Uh, but, well, here, uh, this is a file system that will be kept completely in memory. So this is my file data, it's a dictionary where I have the file name and the content. Uh, keep in mind that uh, w when we are dealing with files, 
as we have to give this to the operating system, we are uh, dealing with bytes objects. We cannot use uh, regular strings, or at least we, we have to convert our regular strings to uh, uh, via, uh, via this conversion to a bytes object, because otherwise it will complain in a way that's uh, quite opaque, that doesn't give us information. It just says that there was an input-output error. Uh, so this, uh, uh, this is worth uh, pointing out and, uh, and worth keeping, uh, keeping in mind. Of course, I made this uh, a comment for, uh, for uh, the students to know this. So I have here one file, here one second file. And, uh, well, the, let's see the difference. Well, I don't think it's, uh, yeah, I, there are many, many things uh, that will make this a bit larger than, yeah, uh, than it should because uh, I'm, I'm uh, giving more the, uh, the documentation and the, the comments. But here we have a read-only file system. And for this file system, well, m what I'm uh, showing here is that most, most of wha what I'm doing I is kept identical. I'm just adding support for reading a file. Uh, so, well, l let's go to the code itself, uh, not, not to the diff, but you can see that I'm trying to make this gradual, uh, to add things in a way that can be compared. So, here we add the read uh, 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 call, as I said, uh, uh, syscall. Read there, well, now shows also the, the keys, that's the, the file names. Uh, every, every item that has, uh, that's uh, given by read there must be converted into a fuse directory entry object. And well, here for the attributes, Okay, we start uh, adding a bit of comple uh, complexity. The only two directories that can exist, th this will be a flat, uh, uh, a flat file system without support for uh, hierarchic uh, directories. Uh, uh, the directories have two links, that's uh, each directory is linked to itself and, to, and, and, and from the parent. And for all other files, they will be a stat if reg, that's a regular file with read-only uh, access. Not read execute, but read-only for, for every, uh, every user of, uh, existing. And uh, I am giving the right size, because when my programs read the file, they will uh, not expect uh, 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 things to go over the size. So at first I thought, well, I, I can just invent the sizes and uh, things will be fine. Mm, it doesn't work that well, and uh, I'll get to that uh, a bit later. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. And uh, well, uh, of course, get attributes. It may happen that I, I uh, get requested for the uh, attributes that I don't uh, for a file that doesn't exist. If so, I return a no, no such entity. So reading a file, it could be easier, but uh, I wanted to implement the real uh, interface that we have in, in, in Unix. It could be easier because I could just ignore, and I've done it in other places, ignore the requested size and the file offset. Uh, this, of course, adds a bit of uh, complexity, which I didn't want to, uh, to put too much of, but uh, I think it's Im important to, to show. So, uh, well, we first find whether the file is a valid key in our file data uh, dictionary. If not, we, we return no such entity. And uh, here, the, uh, this is what implements the, uh, uh, those two limits, the, the offset and the size, right? Uh, I, I just ha hand back the amount of bytes that was requested. Uh, and if it's, uh, uh, as, as Unix does, if uh, I'm being requested for an offset after the end of the file or something like that, I just re uh, uh, re uh, return an empty string. And that's it, let's uh, see it, and, uh, and, and let's also look at how to make this a little bit better. So, OK, 
Gage was on Mandel already. Yay, I'm great. Okay. Uh, so, again, uh, you will now understand why I, I insist to my students that this would be the best uh, possible interface for a, a file system uh, they, they have to implement. Now, here there are many things that uh, I sometimes want to debug. And, uh, well, the way that uh, uh, the Fuse uh, module works in Python uh, forks and uh, and uh, gives back a, a control almost immediately. Well, immediately. Uh, uh, I have found it very uh, useful. Um, to run this with a uh, dash D that's uh, in the bug mo mode. So this doesn't uh, 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 yield anymore. Let me mean this way, okay. Did, uh, sorry, this doesn't go to background anymore. And here, I can see what's happening. So this is also interesting to to give to uh, to to students of this uh, subject, right? What happens when you want to show a directory? Well, it's not only that uh, it's reading the directory, but it's also getting the attributes of the uh, of the root, reading the directory, uh huh. Then making a lookup for each of those files and getting the relevant attributes I just to get the directory. Here, I'm not requesting anything beyond the, the file names, but what happens here is that uh, when I list the contents of a, of a directory, here I'm showing uh, with different colors what's executable, what's uh, a directory. That's, uh, well, the, the usual w uh, behavior for the GNU tools LS. Uh, a simple uh, directory program would not require to get the attributes of e uh, to each of those files. Yeah, in this ki a case, uh, a file and second. But here, uh, ls does uh, a query for those uh, attributes, right? Um, okay. And yeah, and here. In order to finish this uh, uh, this program, I have to unmount it, and, the, uh, and it returns, right? So the next step, I, I will try to be a bit faster now, to uh, not to give too many details. After all, I'm just uh, going over the same. Um, this is a read-write file system. So what do I have to add in order to uh, implement a uh, read-write. Uh -huh. This is a uh, truncate and write. Mm -hmm. These are the two, two new uh, system calls that I'm uh, introducing. So let's uh, look at them. I could, I could have decided not to implement truncate, for example, but uh, since I don't control what uh, uh, my shell or, or any other file are doing, uh, I will be hit by, uh, uh, by unimplemented uh, and, and uh, that would be bad behavior. So, uh, this is what I have. Okay, read is the same. And uh, truncate basically receives a, a path. I drop the leading uh, slash. Uh, okay, I'm getting the, the file size. Uh, okay, right. Truncate, if, uh, yeah, if called without any arguments, truncate just uh, basically recreates a file, uh, 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 it's keeping its uh, pre-existing uh, uh, attributes or creates it, uh, creates it anew. 
but we can also specify to which length we want to truncate it. So uh, here we have to check whether the, I mean, truncate can also make a, a file grow. Uh, uh, so, well, here I can either mark it as larger or just uh, truncate it. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like cut it. And write, well, of course. <coughs> mm. uh, write, it takes a, a string of bytes to write and accepts uh, an offset where, uh, where it will start uh, writing. And well, this I think will be basically obvious to, to mostly any of you. Mm. Uh, if the offset is uh, greater to zero, well, uh, write the, the new data uh, uh, starting at that offset. Uh, if it's beyond the, the end of the, uh, the, the current, uh, no, uh, okay, if it's inside the, the current length of the file, write it in place, and uh, basically that's it, and, and return it. So, Again, I will do it as two, two different uh, uh, So far, it's uh, what we have seen so uh, so far. Of course, oh, I'll, I'll go back to uh, to keep this a bit more quiet because my my prompt is always looking for Git related things to give me here, and it, it, it creates a lot of extra uh, system calls. So again, uh, cut mt.a file, and I have it here. So I have the get attributes, and here I have the read where I'm reading uh, up to 4k okay so okay and here wh where I uh, uh, modify this I have a, a write see where uh, yeah when I'm writing 21 bytes to to this file or I can Uh, as I did here, I have a write of 21 bytes. Uh, I didn't have a, uh, I would expect this to cause a truncate, but no, it was also a write. Okay. Of course, so far, uh, I haven't been, a, a, I, I haven't added anything that would modify the directory, so. Uh, whatever I want to do that I, I don't have uh, implemented so far, I, I will just get function not implemented errors. It's not that it doesn't have permissions, it's that we don't know how to do it. Okay. What else? Uh, for the fourth iteration in this uh, s set of steps, uh, I, uh, I added a, oh, well, this is an extra class, my file, sy uh, my file system no, uh, now uh, has date handling. I started uh, calling it uh, with date handling, but uh, it's really uh, with basic stat information. So let me go up here. I added two classes, uh, file stat and file data. Uh, let's go first to file stat. This basically represents uh, the basic uh, stat structure that uh, we, we get uh, when when you when we call yeah when, when we ask for the uh, information for any uh, item in our di directory 
we get this uh, structure. But I found it a bit easier, uh, maybe to explain, uh, to just copy this over and have it uh, initialized, safe with uh, 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 the, the timestamps and my user and group ID, and have everything else set to zero. This was just for beautifying the things, right? And having this, having the file stat, uh, the file data uh, is when I, when uh, this holds the full information for a given file. So uh, when I uh, want to work with a file, I will uh, up update its file data and this will get it from the, uh, uh, fr from the underlying object. So uh, again, I'm doing very little here, but it, it will be enough for showing. And here I have this same uh, five system goals I've uh, uh, seen so far. Uh, the main difference is that, uh, where's my definition of, maybe it's, a move, yeah, it's down, down here. Uh, uh, well, my file data is the same, I'm sorry, I, 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 I got l uh, lost a bit in the, uh, in the woods, but here I have, well, reading the directory is the same, but the attributes, will now make sense because uh, I am uh, getting the uh, the information from from sta uh, from the file stat or from uh, the relevant file name. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I will have here the stat attribute for uh, for every file data. So. Sorry, I, I almost forgot about uh, this one so far. Uh, but you can see my file data now uh, includes a stat object. And it has very little modifications uh, regarding the previous one, but it gives a better feeling of a, uh, of a real existing file system. So, So this is now, uh, 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 this reflects now the, the present uh, time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always uh, initializing these, these files as they are absolutely synthetic, it's there uh, only in RAM. So I set them to the moment where this uh, file system was instantiated. So uh, this was at uh, uh, 1328. I'm waiting for the, the clock to turn to the next minute. Um, still not turning, but uh, I just wanted to show this, that uh, here I'm getting the attributes, uh, look up, getting the attributes. Mm. Ah, touching, yeah, touching is not yet implemented. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, setting them uh, like that is maybe not implemented, but uh, Yeah, but here you can see that the, the metadata is also modified, not only the, the file data. Right? Uh, well, I was going like got gradually one, one after uh, the other, uh, but then my fifth one uh, went, went like one step back. So uh, fro uh, from one, two, three, uh, three, uh, you can derive to four that implements uh, 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 this uh, read-write with, uh, uh, with a stat information, or you can go to five that uh, implements read-write, but 
doesn't care too much about uh, the uh, uh, the metadata. But here, what I what I wrote is also an, another common example. It's uh, like a read-only pass-through file system. What what's the issue? Uh, wh what's the interesting thing about this? Is that this is the first time that I uh, that I take care of uh, representing subdirectories. So you can see this one as as it's uh, only read-only. I went back to only three uh, uh, system calls. And well, here, uh, what, what I'm doing is to present a given existing file system in a read-only way. Uh, we could say it could be useful, I don't know, if you want to uh, set up a very secure web server that's uh, impossible to modify, then you uh, 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 like bind mount like, like this, and uh, it's impossible to be modified. Okay, whatever. What I want is, is to show the handling of directories. So, um, well, here I was, uh, I, I'm, I'm now using a source directory that's, uh, yeah, when I initialize here, I, I hadn't shown this before, where, uh, okay, at some point I had a, a I had implemented this uh, at uh, a arbitrary, uh, rooted at arbitrary directories. At some point, I, I remember something didn't work, so I'm forcing this to be over the current working directory, but I, I do plan on getting this back to, <laughs> to, to a, a fully specifiable way. And well, here, uh, where was it? Uh, well, we, we will find things like this, that I, uh, when I open a, a directory, I set the, uh, the source directory plus whatever I have here in the path. Uh, and maybe it was not in this one. I, 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 I will get to this in, in a following uh, example. Uh, but well, th this one, the pass-through file system, it's very simple to, uh, to show. Here I have uh, written this, but this uh, doesn't, uh, I think uh, it's not working uh, uh, because we saw it, it was hardwired in the definition. But, uh, well, le let's say, uh, okay. Oh, again, when I enter, it gives too much uh, noise here. But uh, this is my, my base file system where I, I have this uh, project. Yeah, you can see, well, it, it has basically quite liberal permissions, but inside the mounted directory, it's everything, it's uh, read-only. Uh, I am uh, keeping the, the representation of uh, uh, whatever was uh, given here, for example, this this is still created uh, in in memory, and of course here I, I will have a, like uh, I can recurse into this directory, uh, uh, and uh, it will be transparent. But uh, uh, but but well, this is a file system that looks uh, simple, that looks uh, easy. And uh, and the, uh, the the student can start doing uh, interesting things. For example, uh, okay, here it, it didn't work because uh, pass through. This failed maybe because I'm 
lacking some permit, a uh, missing mount point pa parameter, of course. Okay, so here I have the full uh, file system of, uh, of my server, of my computer, where, where I can start playing with things. Uh, and uh, and the things will will be represented well with the right users and that even uh, well this is something i haven't checked but uh, 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 let me see because i think it could uh, it can be interesting what what can uh, what happen what happens if i request the inodes okay th that's it the inodes are uh, assigned as, as as it goes because this is a file system that's ultimately based in, uh, in, in in symbolic like file objects. So this number doesn't in any way represent what, what's underneath. So uh, for example, here, this is the real set of files and of course the inode numbers are much larger. Here the inode numbers will be uh, granted, will be assigned as they are found. There are ways to uh, to predictably uh, to uh, like uh, uni uh, univocally uh, assign uh, pre-assign them. Anyway, uh, um, uh, uh, this this is the like the first part, the, the uh, uh, incrementally adding uh, functionality. But I also wanted to show what I termed, and I'm not sure if it's a a, a real a good term, but uh, I can also use this as useful bits of code. Well, first, I, I, I made this separation because uh, when I teach, I first uh, talk about file system semantics and how, how we represent objects to the user. And then later, I start talking about uh, how things are represented towards the, uh, the, the, the device, how, what are blocks, what are uh, directories and uh, 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 say I I use a lot the FAT file system because it's uh, uh, a production file system that e even if it's very old it's easy to understand in one or two classes and and it can be useful so I wanted to present some useful bits of code and I I've been having a bit of fun thinking on what can I do with file systems yeah some cool ideas that present a useful implementation of something non obvious. So for example, the first one I, I did was to create a DNS file system. But what is, uh, okay, I'm, I have to install the DNS. I, I'm, I'm working on a different uh, machine. Maybe it's easier to just So uh, DNS file system in MNT, okay. And here uh, I will have these directories. So uh, in this file system, I can perform DNS uh, lookups by just looking at whatever I want to find and th the kind of record I want. So what is the IP address for, for chippy.org? Right? What is uh, the mail exchanger for, uh, for if you want to write a uh, mail to me? For Debian or for my personal domain? Yeah, so I think this is useful and this can show th uh, some things may, uh, again to my users. I don't, want, I, I don't mean to distribute this as a generally useful uh, a, a, a free software pr a, a project because I am, oh, sorry. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't want to distribute this as a, a generally useful uh, thing because it's in the end uh, too, uh, too simple uh, uh, and, and, and not really generally useful. 
but I, I think it's fun to show the students uh, how they can come up with uh, interesting implementations. So here I'm using the DNS module, and well, uh, I'll make this, uh, this easy, uh, quick uh, to show. Uh, I'm uh, hardwiring many things, and uh, uh, um, okay, the lookup is on here, but here, uh, uh, if I read the direct, okay, if I read the directory, yeah, here they will all be, they will all be empty. But of course, uh, this doesn't mean I cannot. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the read, uh, read there is very simple. But uh, when I get the attributes, or or uh, or when I read uh, uh, from one of the created uh, files of, of the requested files, well, they will be there. If uh, uh, yeah, here. If if the if the query that's the, the first part of the path, the query type uh, is valid and uh, uh, there's a, a valid uh, request at the second part of the path, I, I will just return the lookup for, for, for that query. Mm -hmm. I I have found a, a couple of ideas that I think uh, can can be fun to look at. For example, uh, uh, we have many uh, projects that uh, have a lot of markdown. So this project, for example, it has uh, this readme. And if I run, Okay, here I will have this readme and uh, it will be already compiled as a, 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 a MNT readme HTML, right? This is exactly what I have here. This is a, or I can just do a cat a, a, or echo. So it, it's not that useful, but it's fun. And, and I think uh, this can be useful to show how, how this uh, kind of uh, file systems can be adapted and used for interesting things. Uh, so I, I made two more here. I will just uh, show them very uh, easily. They are dirtier because I haven't uh, had the, the time to, uh, to really prettify them. For example, here you can uh, see that uh, I, I have an uh, unzip file system and uh, I am running this convenience uh, thing at every invocation of, uh, of every method. I am sure this can be uh, done in a better way. Yeah, what I'm doing here is to, uh, whenever I read the dire directory or read any of the files inside of it, I will uh, check if the uh, zip file that was given to me exists and is valid. So, but, but this I think uh, can uh, also is a good interface. It's something that can be useful and it's, it wasn't so hard to get right. It took me a, bi a bit of time, but, but uh, again, I, I, I am not a, an expert uh, Python developer. So I am sure that any of you can code this in, in a lazy afternoon. course here I added well this option uh, and part of what I want to show here is that uh, uh, it's easy it's relatively easy to to add options uh, from the command line so uh, let's do a minus o zip file and it was um, using Python zip 
en eh, MNP. Ah, okay. Right. There was a very weird bug here that I haven't uh, uh, found, found out why. This works only this way. Right now, th this one had a had a bug, and I, I will fix it and get it running again. So right now, I have to do the ugly th thing. It should be dead by now. Oh, right. It was in, a, in another system, in, in another computer. Silly me. Okay, again. Uh, sorry. So here I am at the same computer and uh, So yeah, I, 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 I am finding this bug, but uh, anyway. Um, right, this is inside my, my zip file, which I think I is quite uh, good. If, if you have a big, f uh, uh, have a big uh, zip file and, uh, and want to retrieve a single file. And finally, oh, right, this one is the last I have written. Uh, it was, uh, maybe this can be run uh, in a single window. So on commentfs, while I'm taking care to write, uh, to, to document and to write uh, comments for my uh, code, I think that sometimes it makes things very large. So what I'm doing here is and I also, I still want to remove the empty spaces, but this can uh, give the, the students mainly a clearer view of what I'm doing. So here, if from here I, I also remove these sets of, uh, say, l like this. Um, well, uh, this, uh, this is a full uh, fuse implementation of the empty file system. Or this would be the most complicated one uh, I had, right? So I, I think this can, uh, I hope this can really help uh, students understand what I'm doing and get their, their, uh, uh, their feet wet in, into writing a uh, file system code. Um, and uh, well, basically that's it. Uh, I'm stopping my recording now and I will, uh, well, I, I really hope I, I I can be available to answer any comments or questions you have. Uh, this uh, project has been fun to tackle, and uh, well, again, the, uh, I owe this uh, project to uh, to Evil Weasel, as they they they, they have prompted me into uh, presenting some something for the Chicago Python user group, even though well, I, I'm I'm just what I am, and uh, I'm very happy and uh, thankful for for this opportunity. So I'll uh, cut now. Uh, 
sorry for my handwriting that's the one, only one i got and uh, uh, of course i could have uh, typed this but uh, uh, I, I will leave uh, with this if you want to write to me i am uh, gwolf at debian.org and uh, well i again i think i will be answering your questions in case you have any uh, very shortly thank you